Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosehill bringing you this uh, video today from my home office in Jerusalem where I've done many videos in the past. Uh, today's a little bit different because I'm uh, technically in this room for the foreseeable future as I have just discovered about 30 minutes ago that I have uh, COVID-19. Um, thankfully, I feel relatively well. I feel like I have a heavy cold, which I've felt a few times this year and always surprised to test negative and finally i got a strong positive um on one of these instant tests and i feel like i have a cold i'm all kind of stuffy and achy and tiredy but really nothing too bad uh it could be a lot worse and i'm very grateful for that and grateful for the advanced medical care that probably prevents this from being a lot worse um anyway while i'm here and uh, stuck in this room i thought i would avail of the opportunity to moan and groan about the latest camcorder is from Canon. Now folks might know that I use the Canon XA40 and I love the camcorder. I'm a huge camcorder fan. In fact, I recently started a new YouTube channel called All About the Canon XA40 because I'm trying to split up this YouTube channel a bit more logically and I figured most people don't want tutorial videos about camcorders on their YouTube feed. So check out All About the Canon XA40. I've uploaded about 20 different videos uh, explaining functionalities and I think I'm almost done there probably won't be many more videos on that channel anyway there I was on my own YouTube uh, feed a couple of days ago and I see Canon introduces the XA60 65 70 75 and I said damn if I just w I got this thing in February if I just waited six more months I could have spent my money much more wisely and got the latest and greatest XA camcorders from Canon so uh, I said, I must check out what they've done. And I was I went back to work and I was kind of thinking, well, I'm guessing the XA60 is pro they're probably the XA XA60 is replacing the XA40, which is which would mean that it's going to have the more basic of the two and the XA70 replacing the XA50, not replacing, but kind of superseding it. Um, and I presumed there was going to be some monumental change to both of these camcorders, right? Because why else would you announce a whole new product line? Went onto YouTube and I was amazed at what I saw. There's very, very little improvement there. And to be honest, it's kind of a missed, huge missed opportunity actually from Canon because I think personally manufacturers lose. I understand the need to periodically upgrade technology. However... I feel like there's a lot of good faith and good trust lost between a manufacturer and users when you come to market with something that's just not really much better. It seems a bit predatory. So I was watching the B&H video and basically I was like, am I missing something or are the only things that are new a slightly better LCD screen? Uh, UVC support, which I don't even use my uh, XA40 as a webcam. So I hope I'm not botching that. It's a webcam protocol coming off the camera so that's nice but probably for most folks are using this uh these camcorders for kind of documentary work eng work and not using it as a streaming camera so unlikely to really make that much of a difference and what i was most surprised to see was that the xa60 didn't even have a one inch sensor as a base like i was assuming the canon was going to be moving the baseline forward xa60 everything the xa range now has a one inch sensor because it's kind of ridiculous for DSLR mirrorless people to take us camcorder curmudgeons seriously when they look at the specs uh, on current stuff on the camcorder market. So basically, I looked at a lot of comments on YouTube that were very critical and I left my own critical comments. I, I, I have mixed feelings because on the one hand, I'm happy to see Canon continuing with the camcorder. I think the XA, and I'm going to just grab mine off, my, my XA40, I think it's amazing this is an amazing product the fact they've taken the professional camcorder with the xlr ports and the top handle and they put it in this smaller package is brilliant but i don't really see the point in launching four new camcorders that are barely any better because a lot of people like me are like why this is a letdown so enough of my commentary i thought i'd just kind of look at the product merchandise now this document i found by googling um I can actually even show my search file type PDF because I was trying to find kind of spec sheets uh, that came out from Canon because I find these are much more focused than looking at web pages. 
And this was this was actually a great spec sheet that I just kind of came across with the same search before these new camcorders came out. So we had the XA40 and 45, which was 4K, 50 and 55. So in the XA range, the basic camera or the baseline for the 4K series is the XA40 that I own. It gets a lot more expensive when you get that one inch sensor. The 5, the XA45 and the 55 had SDI output. So for broadcast journalists, journalists, they were useful. And then we have a couple of kind of legacy players. The XA11 and XA15 are also part of the XA series, but they are not uh, 4K capable. They're only 1080p and it's 1 over 2.84 CMOS. So this is how things looked before Canon brought these new guys on the market. Now this is Canon's product documentation for the 60 through 75. They look the exact same as the 40 and the 50. They haven't really done anything to the form factor, at least that I can see. And that's almost disappointing in itself because you think, okay, you're going to be either substantially upgrading the specs or really doing something different with the form factor. And the reality is neither is happening. So uh, this is where Canon have their space to tell you what's new and exciting. And a lot of this is like, well, uh, 4K, yeah, you've had 4K camcorders in the market for years. And it's kind of strange in the year 2022 to be marketing a new video product, whether it's a camcorder or a DSLR or mirrorless and saying, hey, it's got 4K. It's now in, the, in our competitive ecosystem of mirrorless and DSLR, people are marketing 8K and 6K. So it does seem very, very backward that Canon are uh, having to highlight 4K as if it's something impressive. XF, AVC and MP4 codec support. I have that on my camcorder, the XA40. Digic DV6, I'm pretty sure I have that on my camcorder. Equipped with a 3.5 inch, approximately two points. So they've improved the LCD and they've improved the viewfinder, the OLED. I'm perfectly content with the little LCD. If you're doing a serious monitoring, you're going to hook up, a, you know, an external monitor, right? So these don't need to be that great, in my opinion. And that maybe I'm a, a sort of just a crank or something or, or a lone voice in the wilderness. But my opinion is you don't really need a brilliant LCD. And I couldn't really care less the Canon are upgrading this. I would much rather see one inch CMOS sensor in the XA60. That's where the upgrade is instead of the screen, which I couldn't really care about. Um, and then we have, as I mentioned, USB video class, uh, UVC. So simply connect the camera to any computer with a USB cable to use it as a webcam. And because it's UVC, it'll work with Zoom and Teams and what have you. But as I mentioned, I really don't think that is um, super useful. Expans expansion functions that are useful for surveillance applications. Um, who's using camcorder for surveillance, really? Who's, who's actually using a professional camcorder in their home security systems. I'm sorry, but like, why why would you do that? I'm actually quite confused. So that that again is to me another almost, it's not even a non-spec, it's a bizarre spec. Why would you use, have you ever have you ever gone to a part, like have a look at this thing in the, in the spec sheet. It's a parking garage. Have you ever gone to park your car and seen a big chunky camcorder pointing at you? You'd be like, am I on the news? So, um, I was picturing across the spec sheet here and uh, let's just, in the comparison, we can see XA75 sensor size, one one inch, and it's, uh, this doesn't have, oh, sorry, it does have the 60 and the 65 are still stuck with this one over 2.3 inch sensor, which degrades performance. And uh, you can read about the other things, but uh, suffice to say, if anything was amaz anything amazing was added, it would be up here and not down there in the spec sheet. Uh, prices for these camcorders, XA, I'm going to do XA60 B&H, and I'm going to use the fact I have COVID to be a bit lazy with my editing and not cut this out. That's my excuse anyway. Uh, so I'm, I'm, doing the re I'm doing the research live as I record this video blog. I'm going to find find you dear people the price points for the XA60 B&H have it for $1,800 US dollars. And the price point for the XA75 is 2000 and uh, basically $3,000 compared to the X. And this these prices are only going to be, you know, viable at the time I'm recording this, uh, this video. They are subject to change. XA50 and XA55, just to compare these uh, price points uh, with one another. And I'm going to do that right now. 
the XA55 is in B&H for 2,800. So it's actually only 200 USD more, in fact, to opt for the 75 over the 55. So you may as well spend the $200, but even that suggests that you're not getting that much more, right? Because $200 is not a lot in hardware, tor hardware terms. The, my beloved XA40, which I'm delighted to see as the number one seller in the uh, camcorder series on B&H, clocks in at 1600 versus 1800 so again it's 200 bucks and as i say that alone kind of suggests that it's not that useful it, it this really is a non-upgrade unless you do want to uh kit out your home office or home with a weird video surveillance system uh set up by pro camcorders anyway that's that's my take on it i'm very interested in pro camcorders suffice to say these are my opinions i'm clearly not trying to flatter canon here if you have thoughts on uh, this, if you are a camcorder fan, us camcorder people do have to stick together, uh, drop me a comment and uh, thank you guys for watching as ever this video. If you do want to get more rants and camcorder talk uh, from yours truly, do consider subscribing. Goodbye.